Welcome to the Town of Darien Sewer Commission meeting, regular meeting agenda of Tuesday, October 20, October October 3rd, 2023. Uh, starting the meeting at 4.35, good enough, um, in room 206 of Town Hall. Um, the first item on the agenda is approval of the prior minutes. However, I know that one of our commissioners uh, who is running a little late um, has some thoughts on those meeting minutes. So I would kind of take the chairman's prerogative and uh, move that down the agenda until Mr. Hutchison arrives, uh, which means then uh, we can talk about item number three. Sewer, so actually, let's uh, hold on. Let me. Uh, change that again, Chairman's prerogative. I see that we have our Director of Park and Rec here, Ms. Pam Gary, and I'm guessing she's here for item number seven. Mm -hmm. So what do you say we do item number yeah. seven first? Right. Everybody good with that? I'm good. Yeah, okay. I'm good. Gary would love that. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> um, so, um, Mr. Chairman, uh, in the package is the resolution from a previous meeting that the sewer commission passed and it is my understanding that um, parks and rec is just now getting around to um, carrying this through planning and zoning and everybody involved thought it would be a good idea to just approach the sewer commission again and uh, refresh your memories about the resolution that was passed maybe with some different commissioners and Pamela Geary is here to uh, talk to you about any of the changes that they propose since the resolution was passed. I understand that nothing is substantial. Uh, there are no substantial changes proposed. I do remember this. Uh, um, there is an area of property um, at Weed Beach um, that is immediately adjacent to our pump station um, and it is theoretically reserved for use by the sewer commission although we do not currently use it nor have plans to nor have any immediate but, plans but you to. did reserve the right to recover yeah. that land in, in case that you ever did need it Yes. My recollection. Yes. Uh, Park and Rec is proposing um, some improvements in this area to include walking trail, restored wetland, landscaping. I think a new fence was going to be a part of this. Passive recreation. I going about that? Um, it's a mixed use. Mixed. Um, not a new fence, no. Is there additional parking, or is that parking area indicated kind of the one that's there today? Same. It's this the same one. It's going to be improved by adding gravel. Should I get up here? Uh, uh, I guess if you're talking, yes, you should. Okay. <laughs> and introduce yourself for the record. Good evening. I'm with Gary, Director of Parks and Recreation. Thank you. Glad to be here. Um, it's been a long time coming for this project, so I'm super excited about trying to at least move forward with it. So this is the first step. Um, getting you to understand that there's no more additional changes. If anything, there's fewer things that are happening there. We had to be very mindful about our decision making with our finances and wanted to come within budget. So we cut out quite a bit. We cut out the boardwalk, we cut out the um, uh, pavement that surrounded the facility and now there will be short trails within the short lane property just outside the sewer station, pump station. Um, we no longer will be putting a bridge over the wetlands, which was part of like a little longer of a trail system that's been now been shortened. Um, but we will be um, mitigating some of the um, wetlands from the area in between the new expanded beach and the um, short lane property that would be filled and mitigated to the wetland near the pump station. Um, 
and that is, you know, other than that, adding, we're, we'll, we will be filling, we'll be adding trees, we'll be removing some dead um, trees, <coughs> some invasives, some invasives that are choking out our healthy trees. Um, we're going to be very mindful <coughs> of the, to the neighbors and keeping that line of trees um, along the property line and adding, um, getting the pollinator pathway <coughs> involved and adding additional shrubs and trees there as well for cover. So um, your plan is to apply to planning and zoning when, shortly, Today. now? Today? Tonight. Is, Today. Oh. We're on the agenda tonight. We oh. have, our application has um, been submitted and we just felt, Kate really felt that it was something that we should at least solidify here with the sewer commission just to make sure that that was set. So really we're just cleaning up the property because yeah. outside this, the pump station is just a, a bunch <coughs> of brush and invasives. Um, so I guess it, my, my only question is, um, can we be provided with whatever the current plan is mm -hmm. so we can make sure that we concur and I'm sure will that the current plan... I can plan give you the presentation that is being presented tonight right here. Oh, okay, great. I'd yeah, love to see it. Um, you mentioned, so there's certain areas of the larger project site that are being filled to create a larger beach, I guess, or...? Yes. Yeah. I mean, the, the area now that has asphalt that leads to the junior sailing area with yeah. loading, yeah. that will all be filled. That yeah, rock yeah. well that's crumbling along the beach side will be removed. Um, the area will be filled, the invasives will be removed, and um, more beachfront. Um, right now, when you look at the bathhouse and you look down toward Broughton, I mean, um, toward Nearwater and their little beachfront, yeah. it narrows down. Yeah. And that side of the beach is rarely used. Quite honestly, um, the depth of the beach just isn't as favorable as the the other side toward the bathhouse. So well, I have that's seen more and more use of it, which gonna is be, nice. It's yeah. going to be widened, <laughs> yeah. yes, and then filled, and then they're they'll be creating berms that will ultimately be very helpful to the similar to the the berms that are already there. Yeah, yeah. Yes, and they'll be using the same plantings, yeah. which will be very protective to the site. Yeah. And then they will be grading upward, like to a slight hill. Um, in the uh, open space for people to gather. So people have been gathering there now since we cleaned out that short, that little area. But um, yeah. to open it wide up and add in more trees. And it shrubs. sounds like a great project. Now you mentioned that, so part of the, is there required mitigation as a balance for the fill yes. that's happening? Okay. Yes. And is that, is it taking an existing wetland and making it nicer or is it creating more wetland? It's creating wetland to make it nicer. Like we're, we're mitigating what isn't good wetlands yes. and adding to the wetlands near So the you're place. making nicer wetlands and yes. you're expanding wetlands? Or well, we're expanding only what we're mitigating from the below. I guess it does, my the, understanding. does the wetlands get bigger. I guess that's what I wanted to see the plans more. Right. Like, Would you like to see them now? Yeah, I, I think so, yeah. <laughs> I used to live there. To me, it's not a question of whether it gets bigger. It's a question of whether it gets closer to the existing sewer uh, well, station. Yeah, well, so if this is our that, property. That, that and shading, or that and uh, plant uh, screening are my two concerns. Yeah, well, this, yeah, well, the screening is in the resolution. Right. I remember that, yep. Um, it sounds like you're not going to do the boardwalk. No. And I think that, personally, I think that's terrific. And my one request was, I've gone down every spring since 2019. Okay. It may be invasives, but there are migratory birds that nest in that area every spring. Mm -hmm. And it would be very sad, I think, to be doing this work while they're nesting. Right. Once, if you do it and they come in and there's nothing there for them to nest in, so be it. Right. I remember when you proposed this, Rich Jacobson said, it will be better at the end of the day. I just wonder how long that will take. Mm -hmm. But I have seen these same birds there every spring. Right. So it would be it would be sad. Yeah. So my, uh, as you just started to describe the project, my mind went to um, if we need to reserve the ability to use this property in the future, I wouldn't want the property to be any more encumbered by regulatory hurdles like wetlands. Right, and it, it to answer your question, it's, if anything, it's a, it's a small increase. It's nothing a large yeah, as a well, large. Well, at least in that package, which is you know kind of graphical, 
it said restored wetland. Mm -hmm. It didn't say right. large wetland. Right, increasing it, or, correct. Yeah. And again, sorry for my, I'm not, I'm not a professional in that area, yeah. but um, mm -hmm. when they talk, I've, this is the first I've learned about mitigating and restoring. So it, it was not labeled as increasing. Well, it looks like you're filling the existing the wetlands that used to be between mm -hmm. the old house mm -hmm. and the short lane yes. property. So you're filling wetlands, is that correct? We are, and but mit, as I understand it, you're mitigating it. So you're filling and mitigating the wetlands to- How are you mitigating? That's just They're the making the back right, wetland right, nicer. Right, back the nicer. And restoring it as well, their so mitigation for filling the smaller front wetlands. Square foot to square foot? As far as I understand, yeah. yes. And what EPC, this back is- Back and front, what are you using as your- well, Yeah, front, I was going with the beach in this particular- So they're uh, filling front and, and making, so, so they're encroaching on the, the, the pump station. Well, not, well again, we I don't know that we have enough information to solidify this answer. There is a wetland on property that is reserved for sewer commission use. It's existing. Um, it's got a lot of invasives. It's in poor condition. So that's the wetland they're making better. Um, I haven't seen anything that says or suggests that it's getting bigger, but I don't necessarily know that from the information that I'm looking at. Okay, so yeah. if they're making the wetlands closer to the pump station better, yes, that would probably mean that it would be harder for us to reclaim that yes, if we need but it. That was very correct. That was very clearly indicated to us four years ago. I'm, I I understand that. <laughs> but hindsight's twenty twenty. I mean, we can. I am thinking about the boundary of a regulated area and not wanting that boundary to grow, right? If the boundary stays the same, existing to proposed, that means the property has the same level of encumbrances um, in my mind. How many? Um, it's never easy to fill that way, regardless of what I mean, conditions. I mean, how many feet are we talking about coming over the board? I don't think we're talking about that. We're not. Yeah, <laughs> I think. It's an existing area that is flagged as wetlands, and they're through um, managing invasive plant material and adding plant material, mm -hmm. they are making them better. Is there a maintenance plan to keep the um, invasives from returning? Um, well, our crew right now has, um, we're involved in an invasive removal project yeah. all around town and okay. all our parks right now, so. And I also want to be careful it's always helpful to give people advice, um, but I want to look at this through the lens of the sewer commission. Right. No, I told, that's not our area, but you are removing <laughs> 72 trees. Yes, sir. And only replacing 34. If, if you go to page 204 on yes. attachment 7. Yes. The last two, um, well, now therefore be it resolved. Yes that there will be no construction modification of the property in question that will inhibit future use of said property by sewer commission. Correct. Be it further resolved that this use is with the understanding that the Darien Sewer Commission has the right to terminate or modify this use should it determine that the use of said land is needed by the commission. Yes. So, um, and, and I, also you got one above that, which was one of Bob's earlier points, which I think he was the one that was, uh, made sure this clause was added in the first place. <coughs> now, therefore, be it resolved that the area to be, I'm sorry, not that one. Uh, oh, yeah, no, we'll, we'll yeah. Uh, so park, park and Rack will be specifically an fenced area. There was like a something about buffering I thought I saw in here somewhere. Um, so I think, I we'll think. We'll provide adequate, adequate, adequate <laughs> top, the top one, whereas the Park and Rec Commission will provide, bleh, will mm -hmm. provide adequate screening. That's the one. Yes. Thank you. Um, so I, I think Ms. Geary is here to get the commission's um, concurrence that you still agree <laughs> with this resolution. Yes. So to me, I think this is a good resolution and we made it. Um, my question is, do the current, are the current plans similar enough to the ones that we looked at when we established this resolution 
so such that they don't need to be modified because it's exactly what we were looking at four years ago. That, that's really kind of my question. It's less of an impact there now. There. Yeah. I think. Less, yeah, because no boardwalk. And yeah. And, the, and it's already wetlands, so if even though they're restoring it, were there ever to be an issue about the sewer commission expanding into it, it would still be wetlands. It was wetlands yes. now, and it will be wetlands yes. in the future. So if there was, you can compare that to Exhibit Four. We're talking like. about the parks and rec. No, oh. no we are on the record on Channel Seventy Nine. Thank you. Um, there are new plans for this. Yeah. That's what we're talking about. And that's so, on my phone. Um, and that's on. The, phone. the only the only concern I have is the wetlands restoration. Once it's restored wetland, we wouldn't be able to use it. <laughs> well, well, we so, were just talking okay. about that. It's so wetlands take now. a breath. Catch up to speed. Yeah. Yep. It's wetlands <laughs> there now. is an existing wetland there today. Yeah. It's not easy for us to decide that we want to put a building in wetlands, no matter who we are or why we're doing it. We are. Um, they are uh, restoring the wetland, yeah. and they're proposing to restore the wetland. This is the exhibit that we were provided yeah. when we passed this resolution four years ago. Yeah. So this is what they told us they were doing four years ago. Yeah. Since that time, uh, they're removing this loop and that boardwalk. Yeah, I've heard of that. Uh, and I think only doing a little gravel over mm -hmm. on this park. Gravel, yes. Gravel You're not going to have a line. beautiful walkway viewing our beautiful sewer plant? <laughs> not, especially since there's <laughs> yeah, screening. For a lot of so uh, the uh, yeah, I'm not sure that screening is on this. Yeah. That would be a, a major concern of mine. Oh, yeah, we did have a plant that's screening, so we're actually uh, I don't. I don't it. see it. Hold that up. We won't, we won't need it now. Yeah, yeah. Actually, the whole thing, I don't see it. Yeah, yeah. If the walkway doesn't. So that's in here. Yep. Which there did appear to be some screening um, on exhibit like, three last time. Yeah, that was one uh, of the conditions. Of yes, and we I have I can that. have them. Yeah. That's easy enough to add yeah. in. Yeah. Well, but if you're saying there's budgetary constraints, I would, I would want to see it before I would. So is there, is this the, the level of, of which you're presenting to P and Z, or are there more detailed landscaping plans? There are more detailed landscaping plans. Yeah, yeah okay. in the application, okay. it tells you exactly what types of trees and shrubs, and yeah. um, so I think that's just that rendition. Yes, understood. Um, so, item seven, which is the item we're on, the Park and Rec is here to, uh, I guess, on the one hand, confirm that this resolution is still in effect. Um, but I think more particularly, it seems like you need us to kind of say that the new plans are consistent with the resolution. Yes. Yeah. And so the question is, do we think we have enough information before us right now um, to be comfortable with them moving forward, or do we want to see more information? Doesn't the Sewer Commission have the right to review this, any activity on their property in the future anyway? I mean, uh, if you if you reaffirm this resolution, and as Gary can show up and, and say to the Planning and Zoning Commission, um, the Sewer Commission has reaffirmed this resolution. I don't think that precludes you from well, they still have to comply with the resolution. looking at whatever they <laughs> propose to Planning and Zoning yep. and saying, wait a second, that's a little bit different, and our resolution says you need screening or um, we don't want more wetlands. I think you still have that right, don't you? Possibly, but it's helpful to have it up front. Well, I guess what's so the think, process? It's helpful yeah. for planning and zoning to know up front yeah. that we are going to require the screening. It, it sounds to me like they're going to get much more detail than you're getting here tonight. Right, I, but does I, it I have agree. screening? And but um, your screening wasn't taken away. I, I think oh. all she, all she, she's asking for right now is a reaffirmation of the resolution, which speaks broadly to the mm. terms of you're allowing her to use your property and you still have the right to say hey, that's fine planning and zoning approved that without screening but we want screening we don't want more wetlands even if planning and zoning did approve more wetlands isn't that i, I possible? want nothing more than to facilitate <clears throat> uh getting it done like I, I want nothing more than to make this as easy as possible. Like I get it. Like we, we I, I don't want to get in Park and Rec's way. This is an awesome project. Like and anything we can do to help things go smoothly, we want to do. But I, 
uh, and we can certainly say yes as long as you're complying with this resolution uh, we're, we're going to be happy with the result but I guess I just would love to be able to take that step and say we looked at the plans that you actually submitted and we looked at our resolution and we agree that if you approve these plans they're compliant with the resolution I guess that's what I'd love to get to. And, and as a staff member I completely agree with everything the Commission has said I don't want to be handcuffed or hands, hamstrung somehow with anything that we need to do with the sewer station um, takes care of two-thirds of the town it's it's probably one of the most important pieces of infrastructure that we have here in town and I, I totally agree um, no you don't put wetlands at our back door that aren't there because now we're gonna have a pro I totally agree um, I'm just wondering if it, it seems to me that this resolution gives you all the authority that you need for the future and um, maybe you can have uh, Parks and Rec come back and, and uh, show you a more detailed plan and answer more of your questions later but in the meantime she could say that you agree with this previous resolution I guess what's the what's the desired schedule that you're on you're gonna present to planning and zoning tonight were you hoping that they kind of no, voted present, or present they won't vote tonight they won't vote no. tonight yeah is this like a is it public hearing or is it just a meeting public hearing public hearing okay um, I'm, I'm I'm not certain about that. I yeah, know okay. we're we're expecting there could be some public there to comment. Yeah. Okay. Um, <coughs> I would expect it to be a public. Hearing. Yeah. Probably. I, 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 I didn't. Because yeah. there's enough public interest, I'm sure. Yeah. So mm. we don't meet again for another month. So if, if things went well with planning and zoning tonight, they could close the matter and direct staff to draft a resolution that they would consider in a, in another two or three weeks. Um, but they could always close the hearing and get opinions mm -hmm. from Darren outside. Yeah. You know. No, they can't get new yeah. information once they yeah. it, not once they close. It's the, the changing hearing, thing, can't. right? If anything, I, I know. I think from an expert. Okay. Yeah. Well, <laughs> I, mean, <what? laughs> I know. I know that you can't no. have new information after you've closed from the, the public. The. Oh, from the public. From yeah. staff. Well, but staff can continue to advise staff. the commission I'm, on the. I'm part of the public, but I'm sorry, I consider myself an expert. <laughs> oh, now that now we're really <laughs> no I do I'm sorry I mean I, I predicted that my the, the piece of property next to me would flood and it has numerous times per year and mr. furlow there was completely 100% dead wrong I don't know what you're talking about I do. and I don't know where, and I don't know where you <laughs> live I was there on yeah. your property uh, you were on the Commission no, no, oh. he wasn't. EPC. He wasn't? He's probably not on it. There's just I'm more almost positive he was. Robin Hood Lane. Uh, well, it's okay, but correct. it's neither here nor there. It's just one application. I mean, uh, what are we, well, look, okay. are we talking about? Look, like, we were talking about process. Darien Park and Rec at Wheat Beach, right? Yes. Mm -hmm. Okay, so let's talk about that. Okay, well, no. what we're really talking about is the dairy is the sewer plant at that abuts it. Yes. That's the important part of this. Yes, it is. Not whether or not we're facilitating what, ha what Park and Rec does. It's our interest. We, we are looking out for the interest of the sewer plan. Yes. And to me, without knowing the screening plan, I can't go any further forward. Okay. Peter, do you have any thoughts? Well, I don't disagree other than I think the, the this resolution is probably complete. So I would go with something like uh, uh, maybe we could uh, okay the resolution and then you know subject to i mean we're not going to change the resolution reviewing but, the details but part of the the deal is they got to come and show us that they you know that they're actually put a uh, you know screening in there that we want i mean as far as adding more or less wetland i think that's covered so okay so we have one uh, commissioner uh, without enough information to take action. We have another commissioner that is comfortable uh, reiterating the prior resolution with the caveat that we receive uh, full information from Park and Rec uh, prior to construction. I'm with Peter. Adequate screening. Okay, so you're Peter, Susan. Um, with us. I think we need to make sure we have adequate screening. 
Yeah. So how best to do that? Uh, say, say nothing and wait for more information or say, yes, we agree with the, the basics of the but, resolution, but we need But you need to come back. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, with the, res the, complete the resolution, there's nothing to change there. I mean, that doesn't right. affect whether you have screening or not. Well, it calls for it. The resolution like calls the, for yeah, it. Right, yeah, yeah, well. Right. So we're good. So, so we're good. But we need them to come back and show us that they yeah. have the screening because it's not on so the, the motion would sound. The motion right. would sound like what? Who wants to take a, a stab at the motion here? Mr. That we reaffirm the existing. Yeah. No, go ahead. Okay. We reaffirm the existing resolution and reiterate the necessary uh, adequate, that necessary adequate screening be provided along the property, around, along the boundary, yep. existing boundary to the fence. And uh, and uh, as shown on the original plans, or yeah, yeah, and and we look forward to um, reviewing the the full and final details. Sure. Prior to construction, does that sound reasonable? Yep. I'll well, make a motion. Yeah. All right, we have a motion from uh, Reese. We have a second. Peter makes a second. All those in favor of the motion. All those opposed to the motion. All those abstaining. All right, four one. There you go. Thanks very much. Thank you. Good luck. <coughs> uh, do you want this for tonight? You don't have it? It's a lies packet. Oh. It's like, not going to help. <laughs> All yeah, right. Well, we'll, we'll, uh, with number that. seven. Bye-bye. Good luck, Has been right. dispensed with for now, so we're going to go all the way back to the number, so two. number two. And I, 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 it's five o'clock. Yeah. We punted on the minutes. Um, I think no, we I don't keep them as is. I know I wanted the tweak. Um, Do you want the tweak or not want the tweak? No. That's the whole reason we waited on the minutes. You know what? Add the tweak. Let's <laughs> add it. I don't have a problem. Okay. But so um, this is a little bit of a redraft of item number nine that... Darren, I think I sent that to you. In the yeah, text. Darren has it, and okay. I also emailed it to I him. I do. Um, I just wanted but that let to me be read it. Review it. Let me read it to for the record, just so it's clear for everybody what uh, Thank you. the suggestion is for a redraft. Um, so this is. Uh, oh God. Sorry. About that. <laughs> oh, I can make a bigger hole. <laughs> <laughs> um, Good luck. <laughs> they were eating glasses. There we go. Okay. We're getting there. Uh, private sewer lateral emergency repair at 15 and 16 Stonewall Lane and 51 Buttonwood Lane discussion and action. So this is the redraft. Staff was alerted to a potential sewer leak uh, on their property by the owner of 51 Buttonwood Lane. There is a sewer easement in favor of 15 and 16 Stonewall Lane over 51 Buttonwood Lane. In an effort to determine the location and extent of the leak, staff reached out to the owner of the lateral of 16 Stonewall Lane. Unexpectedly, the owner was highly uncooperative and informed staff of a desire to seek counsel before granting permission. Town employees began excavating in the easement and determined multiple issues with the private line. About five years ago, Aquarian replaced water lines that were now, uh, let me just ask the question, was the excavation done in the easement or was the excavation done in the road? It was done in the right of way. Okay. So uh, let's say Not on private then property. this should say town employees began excavating in the public right of way. Oh, great. Didn't know that. In the we actually hired a right contractor at yeah, a small yeah. point of water. Yeah. Town. And determined multiple issues with the private line about five years ago, Aquarian replaced, about five years ago, uh, Aquarian replaced water lines that were below the sewer line. In one other instance, there was damage to the sewer line and substandard unpermitted repairs. This was found to have taken place on this lateral as well. Aquarian was notified and as of yet has not formally responded other than to suggest the time limit had expired. Also, it was determined that somewhere else in the lateral, there is a deficiency, defect, or clog that will need to be repaired. Staff would like to know how to formally submit the costs for this emergency repair to a private lateral where both a deficiency was noted and evidence of an illegal repair was observed. So, okay. I had asked that that be submitted to 
town council. Oh no, this is well, just, this is just minutes, minutes, Peter. This, this is, is what yeah. this is just more. Yeah, no, I yeah, yeah. And, uh, and that did oh, follow. that is true. That as part of the minutes, Peter yeah. did suggest that. Yeah, yeah well, and that's in there. Yeah, yeah. In Mr. There. Van Winkle made a motion to ask the town attorney to whom. Blah, blah, yeah. blah, blah. Okay, so that's in the minutes. So, uh, okay, so that is one comment on the minute. Let's just do a straw poll on this one. Um, does everybody agree with Reese's rewrite of yeah. item number nine? Yeah. Subject to Darren's change in the, the yeah. public right away. Yeah. yeah. Um, I mean, I like it being much more detailed. I think it's yeah. a, a a situation where it does need to be more detailed. Okay. There was something. Um, I think where he said there was another situation where it occurred, I would say, I, I think it needs to say something along with in this vicinity or uh, in this water or in this water line replacement project. I think it needs to, you know, show the vicinity, that it was in the vicinity, Same not time. that just that it happened is, is the only is the, the thing that stuck out in my mind. Yeah, I like that. And he, and he actually, yeah, so he totally says off memory. But aquarium, aquarium replaced water lines that were below the sewer line. So he says it was right here below the spot. Yeah. But in that same replacement project is what yeah. I'm referring to. Yeah, it was to. on the same street. It was on Buttonwood Road. Well, so, but we didn't yeah. have that in the, in right. the wording there is what I'm trying to get might, at. Might be a point of interest. Um, if that was said, we should include it. Yeah, it That's was. A good point. So it it, that would be the sentence in one. These are other, minutes, and I want to rewrite history. No, no, we're not. So just, in no, one, I don't believe we're rewriting history. I think in one we're, other, no, I just I don't know. I'm just saying <clears throat> it was. Yeah. Okay. This says, did I? You still there, Ed? By the way, I'm just going to do. I'm using my phone. I don't think I hung up on you. Um, town. I would have. Uh, I'm still here. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> in one other instance, there was damage to the sewer line. And substandard unpermitted repairs. So that would be the sentence to which we would add at the in, in one time. other uh, during the same project. Yeah, yeah. Within yeah. the same within the scope of the same of the same project. Yeah. Within the scope of Aquarian's water water line project. replacement. Okay. There was one other instance. Yeah. Yeah, that works. Okay. Within the scope of Aquarian's water line replacement project, there was one other instance. You good? Okay. Any other comments on the minutes besides that one? Thank you. Hearing none, I'll ask for a motion. I'll make a motion. All right. Reese uh, makes a motion to approve the minutes <coughs> as amended. Yep. Second. Second. All those in favor? Thank All right. You. Minutes Thank are passed. Thank you. Passed. Yeah. Thank you. Um, okay. Item number three sewer connection fee. Okay. Discussion your, and action. In your package is an attachment that Ed prepared, and um, you can see in yellow the example calculation. For your so we added a third example calculation <coughs> to cover how an increase in bedrooms the net. would be based on the net, not the gross. And would that include a knockdown if it had three and they knocked it down? To me, that's clear. I think that's clear, too. Yeah. Uh, Whatever the... Yeah, it says is demolished and replaced yeah. with. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. I have a question. Yes, sir. Would you explain 3A2? <coughs> no connection fee shall be required of owners of lots, which lots are served by a public sanitary sewer installed by the developer that extended the sewer. Disconnection and reconnection of such lots shall be in accordance with Section 381. So I guess that the idea, and Darren, you can fill me in if, if I'm wrong, is that there are certain instances where sewer mains are extended mm -hmm. privately, uh, and connections there too are covered by a active developers agreement, uh, which had set out the cost of the main extension and thereby the connection fee for people to attach to it. Some people choose not to attach right away and not to pay a connection fee right away uh, and only want to pay the connection fee when they actually attach. Um, so that connection fee would be pursuant to that developer's agreement that may be in place for that property. It would not be uh, subject to the connection fees in Table 9. So, um, so where would I mean the like pennies uh, settlers uh, by, by the yeah. developer, not Avalon. I mean, 
Can, can't we get that a little clearer? I yeah, I mean, I guess like if we're changing this, yeah, the developer could be uh, sanitary sewer installed um, under uh, uh, a developer's no, agreement. agreement. Yeah, right. yeah, yeah, yeah. Subject yeah. to. So, yeah, sub, yeah, yeah, installed subject to a developer's agreement, agreement. I think is yeah. a better uh, phrase. You see where we are, Darren? Yes, and I would add that um, the way you expressed it is the way that I remember everybody on the commission talking about this. That was the yeah. intent. Yes. Um, and Penny's is a perfect example. That was the most recent kind of developer's agreement. Um, cost her near a million dollars to run the, the pipe up the road. Um, I think it would be erroneous and unfair and not what the commission intended to count up all the houses and so, you know, while she's blasting through rock, the project never would have happened. Um, so I think you expressed it accurately. Okay. So I guess while we're setting about now modifying our regulations, we just want to, we'll call that um, really a clarification. It's not changing the intent of the regulation. Right. Mm -hmm. It is just clarifying the verbiage. Um, so it'll be served by a public sanitary sewer installed um, subject to a developer's agreement. I mean, in essence, this is not, if a house was serviced by a septic and went to the sewer, they wouldn't be charged per bedroom because we're actually benefiting the world society pollution. And, and the difference being somebody, you know, builds a brand new five bedroom house, they're going to pay the fee. If they're paying the fee to the developer to add their house to the sewer system, this wouldn't be in effect. That's correct. Because they have an existing home and they're they're not increasing the use. Yeah, right. Well said. And just to clarify, where is it saying that if they're going from septic to connected? Well, that's kind of, uh, that's what's implied there because they would be hooking into yeah. an existing sewer they that has connected. a developer's agreement that they could extend onto. So you're, you're saying that a septic is a developer's agreement? No, no, no. But say you were the last house, like, like Settler's Trail, that did hook into Penny's sewer and paid a fee. They wouldn't be subject but I'm to talking bedroom. About, say the septic was on, uh, just for example, a post road, just for, for giggles. Then would they be paying a fee or not be paying a fee? If they were connecting into a sewer that was a public sewer, yes, that was not the subject of an active developer's agreement, yeah. then yes, they would absolutely pay the fees that the sewer commission. Yeah, would if they don't have to pay a developer's, right. it's kind of either it's, or. It, the, no, the, I understand. The, the, the only difference is if it's under the umbrella of a developer's right. agreement, yep. of an active developer's That's agreement. That's what I thought, but you I You don't I, want to I, make them pay twice, kind yeah. of. Yeah. That yeah, makes, no, I would That makes a lot more sense. Pay twice, but that, yes, Darren. That makes a lot more sense. I hate to convolute things, but. Um, the other thing that the commission discussed as a potential exemption was the condition where, um, let's say, your house was existing on a septic. You were provided a lateral. You were assessed. You paid an assessment. You've always had the right to connect to that sewer. That's why we brought the lateral to your property line. The sewer commission never intended to impose a connection fee. It actually all came about because of the David Mixter sewer on Mansfield Avenue where somebody approached us and there was a new lot yeah. and the developer's sewer was paid off and the commission wrestled with um, what's fair to charge we, what's fair um, it's not fair that this guy came along and connected after and he gets to connect for free when everybody else had to pay David Mixter who was a developer and in that case the, the sewer commission came up with the idea of let's have a connection fee to try and be more equitable across the board. Did we write that exemption anywhere? No, it gets complicated though. It's almost case It does. Case. It's hard to, yeah. without writing an encyclopedia. Yeah, so the one exemption that we had was, well, I, yeah. I mean, yeah. What, if, what if we just put something in there? If there's uh, ambiguity, see the commission. Well, I think. Please come to the commission uh, in the future to. Well, the other, yeah. well, the right. other concern I'm having at the moment, right, is that we had a public hearing right, can we change it? to take comment about changing our regulations relative to the fee. And so now we're dotting the I's and crossing the T's on that. Uh, and how much more wordsmithing do we feel comfortable adding 
outside of the bounds of a public hearing. Well, I think that the de developer's agreement. Yeah, I think that's a clarification. Again, I, I feel that's a clarification, and I'm So you think we'll stop there? I, I do. Okay. Versus adding I, I whole would. other sections or clauses. Yep. Or, yeah. Yep. Um, okay. I would, I would agree with you, Craig. So, shall be required of owners of lots which lots are served by a public sanitary sewer installed subject to a developer's agreement that extended the sewer. Yeah. I think that's fine, and I can hand this to you when we're done if you, if you didn't write it down already. Okay. okay. And then the other thing you'll see on page two of three, up at the top, is the per bedroom charges. Mm -hmm. uh, clearly stating added bedrooms, not uh, total bedrooms. So any further discussion necessary on item three before we consider an action? I just want to thank Bob for all of his efforts, really trying to find what's fair here. And uh, hopefully we're getting closer. We're getting closer. Okay. Um, Craig's efforts too, as, I, as much I, if not more than what I did. No, he opened my eyes to a different way of looking at it. It's not free. A huge asset. Thank you. So, can we have a motion? I'll make a motion. Okay. Reese and Bob are going to hug after the meeting. No. <laughs> <laughs> no, credits do or credits do. No, no, no. That's I'm, a great I'm just making jokes because I like making jokes. Yeah, that's fine. That's no problem. Be the butt of any joke. I can laugh at myself more than anybody else can. <laughs> Uh, so you first? Yes, I'll second it. We got a second. All those in favor? Okay, the language uh, and fee change, connection fee change is approved unanimously. Item number three, uh, four, 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 peer review costs, discussion and action. Okay. Item number four. Sewer Commission policy. Mm. Mm. We, we are we missing four. We don't have anything on that, do we? We don't. The commission um, asked that we reach out to town council. We did on September 7th following the last meeting, and we have not heard back from them okay. yet. So okay. um, we did have a conversation, and um, by verbally, my recollection is um, they agreed with the commission's general um, approach to whenever you can. Uh, write something in the code of ordinance and refer to uh, a policy uh, that would help you avoid future public hearings and you can just update the policy and have a formal place but we didn't get anything formal yet I just wanted to let you know okay. that's so as, as long as so the, the code of ordinance would say you know uh, do this in accordance with department policy that made be modified from time to time by the sewer commission and then the sewer commission would have the uh, department policy that they could modify from time to time outside of the code of ordinance they seem to be leaning that way yeah okay yes so that was the discussion okay flexible yep. but we don't have a definitive answer for you yet okay and we'll, I mean, we'll way follow up with them well, so that, that gave us some leeway without too yeah. much leeway yeah. <laughs> yes. Well, no, you have guidelines, but you don't have to keep going back to the ordinance and changing yes. it every time you want to tweak it. Yes. Yes. But the ordinance mentions that you have guidelines. So that's a good compromise. Um, our, our, okay, so we're going to table item four and move on to item five. Item five, sewer commission policy to calculate the annual sewer fee for developments during a increasing slash phased occupancy. So that is on page five. Yeah. Okay. Item number five that uh, Ed has prepared this uh, is his first shot at looking at uh, projects um, in the future where there would be, uh, let's see, a project that goes on for an extended period of time and uh, we have found out that the bills are much, much higher than what we originally estimated. Um, if there was a way that we could write down some sort of parameters that we would follow. Yeah, if it's um, not a big deal, 
let's not go through the hassle. If it's a big deal, let's go through the hassle. That's your percentage and dollar figures in four and five, right? Yeah. Yep. So that's when you get down to four and five, that's why you see the XX is there. So um, for, for example, if it was a, a very small percentage, we wouldn't bother, right? Um, hey, we came pretty close to that estimate. Leave it be. Um, but if you have uh, an order of magnitude that is many times, which we saw on a recent project, and we have a couple other projects that are of extended duration and coming online slowly, um, yeah. if, there's a, if there's a big difference, uh, it behooves us to true up once we know the real numbers. So the, the blanks that need to be filled in in this memo, if yes. there are other no, no comments, but I'll ask for that, are, you know, what do we think a, a, the correct kind of, uh, if it's within 25%, it's okay. If it's more than 25%, that, that we should recover or reimburse. Um, Why don't we just use the word material? Yes, and I, and I don't have any suggestions for you with the numbers, yeah. but rather than a threshold. Yeah, I was just going back based on the format they gave me, but yeah. You know? Then we can decide what's yeah. material at the time. They'll just know that there's down there's the road. Possibility exists. There's a possibility. And the, <laughs> the data will spit out by the end of the year yeah. and you'll just, see a yeah. difference. Just for annoying Please. people, <laughs> uh, on page two, two slash four, regular meeting. Oh, that's back to the minutes. Are oh. you back in the minutes? Yeah. Okay. Okay. <laughs> oh, that's I love that. Okay, well we approved these, so I think we should just leave those alone for yeah. for, for in perpetuity, so they know yeah. that we're flawed. It's the, it's the leave in the rug. <laughs> they know we're weird, <laughs> yeah. illiterate. So well, I think you can. Well, now we know it was intentional. It <laughs> so currently on page five, one of one, we have one suggestion <coughs> that well, we change it to material, right? Yeah. yeah. The difference if is material. Material. The difference. Yeah. Uh, substantial. Is significant. Substantial. Uh, Normally, I so think they, for number four, yeah, I don't think it's that hard of a four I, and five. They sort of vary. I know I'm a number guy, but is material? Yeah, yeah. It's too vague. Yeah, I don't care for it. What percentage well, so would you yeah, use? Do? I don't know. It means I'm, we I'm can do it if that. we feel like it. Huh? It means the commission can can do it when they feel like it. Here's my I, here's I, my thought. But right. I even as a commissioner, I and I think I have good judgment. I don't like it because okay. it just leaves it too. Too wide open. What's the percent then? Well, yeah, my. What do you feel? My uh, my offer is twenty five percent or a thousand dollars. Twenty five percent or a thousand dollars. Twenty five percent or a thousand. Or a thousand. All right, done. Or max. Okay, that makes that works. I was going to say twenty, but I can live with that. Yeah. Or max thousand. Well, no, it might be because we had one that was fifteen or twenty thousand dollars different. Yeah. Yeah, but I mean, uh, what you're setting is. Yes, we can 20, do either or. We can do either one, yeah. whichever one we like. Yeah. As long as it's not more than a thousand dollars, or less. Like right? it's less, less than a thousand. Than a I mean, thousand. oh, oh, less than a thousand. Yeah, I mean, really, yeah. If you're talking about a few hundred bucks, like, why are we bothering? Even if it is twenty-five percent. Yeah. Um, is that also good to be true for number five? Yeah, well, that's the other thing. Cause, you know, when people are owed money, <laughs> they might think differently. They well, might if like. I'm to owed nine hundred and fifty dollars. Yeah. Oh, about nine hundred fifty dollars. Right. <laughs> Oh, leave that alone. They can always come in and appeal a so, dollar yeah, if they want. Yeah. So right now we're on number four. Yes. <laughs> and you're saying 25% or $1,000. Throwing it out there. <clears throat> Unless, um, is it, it's less than, if it's less than 1,000, even if it, let's say it was 35%. But it was $900. Less, yeah. <clears throat> uh, so then the way we would write that. Do we really need a percentage? Could we just do a dollar amount? Well, yeah, maybe. Just do a thousand bucks. I was going to say seven fifty. Just all right. Done. I think you strike. Not five. worry about. Not, not worry me. about the percentage. I and just go I think for the, the projects that we're trying to capture, <coughs> you know, the differences are going to be large. So I would not be in favor of going lower and you know capturing even more projects. I would be in favor of a thousand dollars. Or higher, quite frankly, <coughs> you could argue me up from a thousand. Okay. Um, because I don't, and again, we're trying to get to the asymptote of like, let's yeah. stop doing this too, and stop creating the extra work. Yeah. Um, well, bang for the buck. So if it's a thousand dollars on a thirty-nine thousand dollar bill, 
and we got 38,000, like, okay, I think that's kind of good enough. Um, mm. So that's uh, why. You're saying that the calculations are already done. To, to know that it's a thousand, so yeah. to yeah, yeah. to, to raise yeah, you're already doing you're already level, doing the work to lower the <laughs> level to seven fifty. I think you're still getting a return on the manpower investment. A fair. See, that's why I like that. I, I think we should leave the percentage too, because again, if, if it's going up and down by single digit percent, but that single digit percent just so happens to be more than a thousand. I mean, do we really? But a lot of this is incurred because we are giving them low estimates. I'm not trying to give anyone a deal. I'm trying to just, like, you know. Why don't uh, just keep a thousand bucks? Like, no why problem. go after pennies, you know? <laughs> like, no, at some bucks. point. Craig, a thousand bucks, no percentage. Yeah. yeah. And then strike five. It's not what we're up to. You know, it, yeah, this is likely not going to. They'll come in and make an appeal if they. Yeah. Because uh, it's not going to happen. I mean, yeah. Relevant. Five, you, we you have, know, if you have calculated. If a guy, if, then if, they can come in anyway. If you have a a, a house or something, and uh, if they uh, overpaid there. a thousand bucks, I mean, you know, that's a lot of money. Yeah, again, this is not a house, though. I mean, you know, this is, and this, is, is this is, and this is not at our discretion. Yeah. So we don't have to. If you, if it's your circumstance where we they paid us thirty-eight thousand. And yeah. it was thirty nine thousand. We could forgive it. I well, guess that I mean, they, a possibility. They, they, um, well, we didn't give ourselves that possibility in this policy. I'm, I'm saying. Yeah. This will, At its discretion. I mean, don't they march in here asking for relief, anyhow? Well, right. one, one at a time. Um, so, let's talk about number four and make a decision on number four um, before going to number five. Number four is the reason, really, we wrote this. Um, which is they're using more water, significantly, materially, yeah. more water than we build them for. Uh, and we want to recoup some of the cost associated with that greater water use. Um, and, and they don't have a history for us to yeah. make a valid. Right. So the policy is awesome. I'm not, I'm not questioning the policy. The, I like the policy. I like the way the policy is written. I am honing in on the X's and trying to fill in the blanks so we can approve it. Right. <laughs> I like the $1,000 and forget the percentage. Yeah, I like both. I like both the percentage and the $1,000. I need to sit down and figure out what that is in yeah. terms of dollars. It all depends on that. Well, yeah. I know that's what I'm saying. I need some scenarios and yeah. say, okay, well, what would 25% of that be? Yeah. Yeah. I need to spend more time. Well, it's or, or a thousand or. bucks. So a thousand bucks. So, and then we oh, could, okay. and we would have the discretion to decide which or we use because yeah, we're be not the, saying the worst it, or the best it would or be the, the smallest of projects where the percentage drove the bus and not the thousand bucks threshold. Yeah, you're talking like I don't know, two unit new build. I don't, I don't know what that would even yearly probably. Wouldn't I mean, work. look, I would. Again, I, I don't want to be doing this forever. I would stick with 25%, no dollar figure, quite frankly, but e either way. I, I like them both, but I, I like them both. And because um, I think, you know, again, going back to the word material, I realize it is a vague word, but I love vague. It, okay. It, it, okay. Does, it does say it's got to be material, you know? <laughs> I, I will make the motion. Yes. Just because I think we can keep chasing our tail here. Yeah. That four be changed to if the difference is in excess of one thousand okay. dollars of the original duh, and in that same motion to strike number five. I will second that. Oh yeah, I'll second. No, Susan seconded. There have been times that well, I guess do we, you, we have a second. Do you want to talk? So about we it? now it's discussion. Uh, so there have been times <laughs> that we have calculated fees and chosen to send out a reimbursement because it was just the right thing to do because it was the way we calculated yeah, we their fees. We can still do that. Okay. This doesn't make that not a good policy. It's just okay. not in here. Okay. Any further discussion on the motion on the table? All those in favor of approving the sewer commission policy? Wait. Who was number two? I'm Susan. 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 Yeah. <laughs> Thank you. Um, did you want to say something yet, or are you good? I, I did, I did. So I wanted to at least give you guys a, a quick, a short insight to um, what I intended, but I, I think you guys are on the right path. Um, my thought is I put the both in there to address 
smaller amounts and larger amounts, giving you the ability to look at both um, without just picking one. And if I, I thought Greg's idea was, was a good idea, I can understand why did you just pick with one and go with it. Um, I'm also of the understanding that, you know, sometimes we have to try these things out to see how they work and see if we have to modify them later. So, you know, I'm open to any of those suggestions. I, I did like having them both in there, but more than willing to work with just one for now and come back with you, you know, after a year or so with some results to see, see if we're missing anything we should capture. Yes. Okay. Like that. So this, again, the, doing the policy makes it easiest for us to change. So that was a good reminder. Any change of heart given the director's uh, intention for adding both? Nope. Okay. Uh, I mean, do we want to put a sundown clause on it a year from now? No. No? no. Okay. No. Just asking. It, it may not work. It may work well. It doesn't have to be, correct? This doesn't have to be. It's an option. For staff, it's not mandated. Um, yeah, it is. It's yeah, kind it of is. saying this is our policy. <laughs> Sorry, wait a minute. This it's is not mandated. policy. This is our policy. <laughs> policy is not an option. It's our policy. Yeah. To try to make the usage staff, as accurately as possible. Once you have a policy, staff can't decide whether or not to observe it. You know, if you so here's my point, right? If you have, if you paid a twenty, point. if you paid a twenty thousand dollar user fee, and then we went back in time, and it turned out that it, it should have been 21,500 and it was 7%, you know, like, yes, sure. Okay. Let's bill for it. But like, is that material based on this person paid 20 grand and it was 21 grand, you know, it's still, it's still $1,500. Like, well, $1, $1, $1, $1, $1, $1, $1, $1, $1, $1, $1, $1, $1, $1, $1, $1, $1, $1, $1, $1, $1, $1, $1, $1, $1, $1, $1, $1, $1, $1, $1, $1, $1
All those in favor? Aye. The imaginary gavel has been passed. And recused. <laughs> yes. recused. Yes. Craig's recused. So it was Reese Cam and uh, Chairman abstains. Yep. Um, so now that we have uh, enacted a policy, uh, uh, do we uh, think it is appropriate to send a letter like this to um, uh, new developments um, to inform them how our sewer user fees will be handled as they come online? I think it's a great idea. I, I Me think too. Give people yes, a heads I, up. I think if you're informed, the 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 the, the, the next letter is, <laughs> is received a little softer. Yeah. Yes, exactly. That was what I was. I was trying to think of a better way to say it. But what? You, you said it better than I would have. All right. It lessens. It lessens the blow of this of the it's just the big bill. Yeah. We have a motion. I'll make the motion. I'll second. Any further discussion on the motion? Yeah, I have one, one, one item, please. Um, yes, sir. The policy, once corrected and finished, will be included in the, with this letter when it's sent out. Yeah. Yes. Oh, yes. Yes. yeah. Yeah, that's okay. great. Excellent. Yeah. Oh, we have to strike the S in that, too. Right? Yes. Um, yeah, yeah, I think yeah. if we add it, it looks, yeah. makes it look more formal, and they will be more apt to read it, yeah. as opposed to just thinking it's a single sheet of paper and just putting it in a pile. Two, yeah, two pieces of paper is definitely better. <laughs> so, oh, I better read this. No, I, I get it. No, I get it. I, I actually get it. I understand what you're saying. <laughs> uh, all right. Any further discussion on the motion? All those in favor? Okay. Moving on. We've dispensed with item number seven. Uh, so we're on to item number eight. Ooh, we've got to think about 2024. You are crazy. What year is that? Mm -hmm. So That's some kind of fake really year, 2024. So I don't know if, if I, I actually called and asked why the 13th of August was not the first one, and I was told that it probably makes sense to move it back a week so that Ed has a better chance to get the CompuTil calculations. So it made lots of sense to me, and I figured I would just pass it along quickly before anyone else even asked the question. Uh, but doesn't that shorten the amount of time we need to schedule the public hearing to do the change? Well, it's a week, but I think I think getting good information is as important. Well, as I, guess, I guess the answer is I don't care. Whatever you guys want, Ed and Darren, as far as far as the August meeting. And that's going to be the week. One, 20th, 27th, third. So you still have three weeks. You still have three weeks. We we seem to always be pushing it out a week. Yes, Ed. Craig, I asked Betty that exact question, and she says there's plenty of time for her to put that together for the public hearing. Excellent. So she's Great mind to talk about. Yeah. Uh, all right. Any everybody happy to be here on January second together, and July second okay. together? Yeah. Kumbaya. <laughs> <laughs> there we go. The hug is coming. <laughs> it's going to be big. Sorry, we have a motion. I didn't, I didn't have a motion. take a video. I didn't mean to interrupt. The you want to you make a motion? <laughs> I'll, I'll, make, I'll make the motion. You want to I'll second it. Oh, you guys, we're working. I'm tearing up. Did <laughs> <laughs> oh, okay. we say kumbaya before we meet? No, no. <laughs> One, two, any further discussion? All those in favor? Okay. Oh, sorry. 2024 schedule Set. is adopted. Based on recommendations from staff. Sorry, you're, sorry, you're not here. Uh, Enjoy the uh, the yeah. Zen in the room, Ed. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Poor Ed. He sounds like yeah. he needs to go back to bed. It is the superintendent's report. Who's going to start? Darren's got the floor. I'm just here for support. Darren, superintendent's Ooh. report. Bring it. Nine A. Phase two sanitary sewer rehab by Arcadis. Um, at the end of August, we signed the agreement. We don't have a start date just yet. Submittals are being reviewed, and we have we are expecting to tentatively start the third week in October. Okay. Exciting. Nine B. Oh, I'm sorry. Are you? No, I just said exciting twice. I'm happy about it. Okay. Keep going. Please. Nine B. Um, CCTV work. We expect that to start next week with in situ form. Wow. Eight miles, right? Wow. Yes. Awesome. 9C, Stony Brook Pump Station 
flood hardening. Um, we're still looking for prices. Um, we might kick the can down the road until spring, uh, until we find prices that we're happy with. Is that to raise the generator and to raise the pumps and control? To build or? walls and the, the prices came in high, so we still haven't found. We're, we're still yeah, looking. This is, this is, well, Ed or Darren, you could fill in, but as, as I understand the first efforts, it has to do with um, you know, walling up the window wells and properly installing the, the door gasket thingy. Yep, so um, have that transformer was that included? And then the transformer. I think they were just going to do a well around gonna, it. You're going to do a yeah. The transformer. We're going to do something around that. Yeah. Um, I think raising it was way too expensive and problematic dealing with the utility. Um, so yeah, and the wires they have to be longer, all that kind of stuff. So as I have probably going to build a wall around that. As I have, hopefully consistently said, I am all in favor of doing Everything. important things quickly or easy things quickly. Um, but we, we have to keep our eye on the long term to do the hard things that need to be done. Um, and I think, you know, two years ago we had the remnants of Hurricane Ida, which opened our eyes on the Stony Brook pump station in terms of how vulnerable it was with water coming just about up to the first floor there. Um, and it was amazing that Central Park during Ida got three inches of rain in an hour and that hadn't ever happened in 150 years in Central Park and it just happened again four days ago. Yeah. So uh, the writing is on the wall. Um, it's not a matter of if, it's a matter of when. So again, I'm in favor of doing easy things quickly, um, but, but we can't forget or delay uh, understanding uh, the hard things that need to be done. So forgive me, I've never been in the uh, Stony Brook pump station. Um, I'm assuming they're, they're submersible pumps that are down in the well? Correct. Yes. So, that, That's so that the actual controls are above the threshold of the door? Correct. Where, where the water, where the water level is. So That's what, correct. what is the most? Is the transformer more vulnerable? Elevation-wise, is the transformer more vulnerable, or the controls inside the building? The transformer. I think it's uh, by elevation. It would be transformer first, generator second, mm -hmm. controls third. Okay. Yeah. Interestingly, um, I believe we had a transformer go underwater, near water, or one of our stations. We didn't have a problem. It was, you know, they, they actually... <laughs> I don't understand that. I don't understand it either. Sealed unit, isn't it? I mean, still... It, it, it defies logic, right? Electricity and water don't mix, but um, we need to protect the transformers, but um, that, that wasn't an issue for us at, in one of the storms yeah. when this transformer went under, which I, yeah. I can't explain. Well, it's interesting, so... You know, up here, when you're dealing with Eversource, Eversource makes you put the transformer yep. above the flood, yep. which is a challenge now for like you you know, anything more than you 400 amps on the short odd club. Yep. Um, I happen to be working in Florida, and and they don't care. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, they're putting transformers below the flood everywhere. Um, different jurisdictions but I assume they're doing their own risk assessment because you know it's an expensive asset to repair quickly so what I'm hearing is you guys want to move quickly on this because we well, are vulnerable do the easy things quickly please yeah uh, but I, I, what was the most expensive the transformer uh, hardening that with a wall um, I'm not sure. Okay. I, I don't want to say Maybe something that I'm not, not sure about. Three. I know we talked about building walls and the price to build the walls were expensive. Okay. It was the walls, whether it was walls on a transformer, yeah. walls around the generator, walls yeah. on the window wells, wells. Ed, do you want to uh, fill in? Yeah. Um, the, uh, the price we got for um, both uh, near water and Stony Brook were over $30,000. Um, I thought that was crazy. Yeah. So uh, to create a, some additional prices. And that is to create a flood wall around four sides of the transformer? 
That's correct. And then do some window wells. So I thought that was a little excessive. Um, I'm you, actually not surprised. Poured or poured or block or huh? block and parged or what? Well, these things, these things have to be dams. They they have to be structurally designed to withstand. Loads. You know, pick a pick a number four or five feet of water on the outside and zero feet of water on the inside. Um, so you know, it's full four foot footings. It's you know, reinforced. It's, it's reinforced concrete yeah. design. Um, you know, I'm I'm not surprised that I I. I'm how, not surprised at that number. How many lineal feet, roughly? Uh, well, if you stayed out of the clear zone, clear zone is 10 feet in front, 5 feet in the back, 3 feet on the sides. That creates a like a 20, 21 by 12 foot rectangle. Hmm. Wow. Uh, if I told you it's 40, foot, 40 linear feet around is what we ended up with. That's a little, well... A little shy, a little tighter. Ha, has, you just okay. it out. Have you reviewed that with Eversource? Yes, they've been with us out there. Okay, so they were comfortable with whatever you were proposing? Yes. Okay. I don't know. When you start calculating in the cost of concrete, isn't going to change. I mean, it's and all steel, labor. I don't know as... And excavation. And yeah, I mean, I don't want to second guess Ed, but I have no problem. Well, yeah, with look, you want to get second price, it's good for the public uh, to get second price, but I'm I'm not optimistic that it's going to be much cheaper. You got to put the rod in and uh, you know all that. And I would sleep better at night with it in place I versus would, not. I, I would too. Yeah. So. Look, you, you are you are incredibly responsible with the user fee dollars, and um, you know continue to be so. Forty. 40. And we trust your judgment, uh, but please keep going. I'd like to say that can, can raising, price. lowering the two hundred fifty dollars would generate this thirty thousand for the bank. That's probably two hundred forty feet of rod in there. Plus, oh, yeah, at, at least stirrups and all that other yeah, stuff. It's a lot of steel. Wiring it. Oh, my hamstrings hurt thinking about it. Mm. <laughs> You've done it. Yes. <laughs> All right, we're good with 9C before we continue? Mm -hmm. 9D. 9D. Um, sewer analysis criteria, review, planning and zoning. Um, there is a letter from Charlie. Yeah. An email yeah. chain in the, in the package. At the last meeting, the sewer commission asked staff to reach out to planning and zoning and um, we did that. You can see the email exchange between okay. Jeremy Ginsburg and Ed Gentile. Mm. And um, in that email, you will see that um, Director Ginsburg has directed his staff to um, work with DPW staff on sewer matters, try and get us the information as quickly as possible. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Good enough. 9E. E. Um, as previously reported, um, we had an issue with the sewer laterals 15, that serve 15 and 16 Stonewall Lane and the repairs that we made at 51 Buttonwood. The commission asked us to reach out to town council. We did. Um, town council said yes. Um, it's okay to send the letters as the commission wanted us to check with them first. So we sent two letters, one to the owner of 16 Stonewall Lane, mm -hmm. and the other letter was to the contractor that performed the work for Aquarian, and we split the bill as discussed here at the uh, Dairy and Sewer Commission meeting in September. Um, we have not heard from the contractor at all. Um, we sent the letters both certified and regular mail. Um, we did hear from the owner of 16 Stonewall Lane. Um, the owner contacted me by phone, and I spoke to directly with him yesterday. And I would characterize the conversation as polite and cordial. Um, however, if I could summarize the conversation, um, 
in, a, in a, as succinct a way as possible. Um, he postured that um, there was not proof that uh, there was a problem with his lateral and um, he believes that the commission did the right thing by having or the sewer department did the right thing by going out there and fixing the problem that didn't but, exist but he's going to confer with uh, his attorney as to um, whether or not he is responsible for this or should be responsible um, I think it's very important to note that um, we were as transparent as possible and um, I invited the owner of 16 Stonewall to be present here tonight, made him aware of the meeting that was going to take place, made him aware that it's uh, of our September meeting is available. He could see what we said, he could say what, see what the commission said, and um, he, he's welcome to be present here or um, review the meeting after the tape is available. Um, so nothing has been resolved at this point. And that's, that's about all I have to report, unless you have any questions. So open item, let it percolate a little bit. And <laughs> well, am, am I remembering that the repair was only one piece of this that you tried to there, You still it? felt there was a, There's still an, an obstruction. And an obstruction. Yeah. Um, okay. So um, we thought there was a sewer leak. We were right. We thought there was a sewer leak associated with the water line construction. We were right. Um, we attempted to have the owner repair it because we believed it was related to their lateral. We were right. It was related to their lateral. Um, when we caused, when we fixed the repair that had failed, what we found was the pipe was um, yes defective it, it had settled the pipes were misaligned they had failed in shear however it it um, didn't explain why the sewage was pushing up some five feet through the ground so um, before we reconnected and the pipe to repair the section of pipe that had settled we um, had our sewer department stick a hose in there not a jetter not any any fancy stuff that could harm anything we took a stick a, a, like a, a rod and and tried to see if it was open um, and when we pushed water in through a hose um, we also had the manhole open downstream now the inside of this pipe is black and scaled and tuberculated and the cross-sectional area is greatly reduced we can tell that right from looking into the pipe. And when we push, push water into it, um, we could see a little bit of black sludge appeared to stain the water. The water was unfortunately running pretty clear there. Um, so when, when there was any disturbance in the lateral, we were able to see that some of the water was getting through. However, um, very, very little. and over 90% of the water just came back right into the trench. So that, that's how we concluded that uh, the, the pump was operating under pressure, of course, but in the four inch supposedly gravity section of the pipe, there was enough of a restriction where the pipe was forcing the water out of the Fernco connection of the repair, one of them, only one, the one most upstream, and um, you could tell that by the black staining around this fern co. The other one didn't have any black staining. We know which fitting was leaking, and the fact that that fitting was leaking under pressure and being forced up five feet through dirt rather than just simply running to the main leads us to believe that there's something way wrong with the lateral. We um, expressed that both in writing and I verbalized that yesterday on the phone and um, I strongly encouraged and <coughs> almost begged the owner, this could be a problem. Your pump could last for another five years or it could fail tomorrow. I'm 
but I know that it's operating under pressures that it's not supposed to. It's, if it's forcing sewage up through the dirt, <coughs> that pump is operating at a pressure that it probably wasn't designed to operate under. And if you have a problem, it might be an emergency. You might have to bring a septic truck to your house for frequent visits to take care of you and your neighbor because number 15 pumps to number 16 and the tank is only so large. Um, and I, I again encourage the owner to uh, send his plumber to us and we would be happy to discuss it with the expert and, and talk about what we found and share all of our information so that um, perhaps they can cause a proper repair that would be better in the long run rather than um, waiting, having waiting the potential to fail yeah. in the short term. But it's, it's whack-a-mole, right? If there is an obstruction in the line and we've fixed the weak point where it was leaking, it's going to find the next weakest point. Yeah. Yeah. Because well, what, what it's doing okay. is it's pumping, it's draining, and every time it pumps, it's creating a water hammer. Yeah. The water comes slamming down and water cannot compress. Yeah. So it's, I mean, it, it, it could shatter pipes. I mean, it could also break the pump, but it could also, you know, shatter the pump, the pipe. Break the pipe, yeah. Uh, Will it back up into their house? Or that's not um, I don't know what kind of pump it's they not have. It's possible. If the pump is just spinning its wheels, for lack of a better term, then the pump well could start just accumulating water mm -hmm. with the pump unable to pump out. Or the pump, or the pump burns out. Doesn't have a high water right. line. Is it an E1? Off? I no, I don't think it's an E1. It might be an E1. But it'll but have an alarm. It's a but it's a big concrete tank, so it's, oh, okay. it's not right. a it's not a no. so it's, it's not, not a low pressure. Like a sewage, it's just tells you. It's right. not like a it's sewage injector. Right. Yep. Yeah, it's no, not like an E1 it's not. or Liberty. Yeah, it could be a Liberty. It could be. I, I don't know the name but of the pump. I understand what you're explaining. Right. Yeah. yeah, you've done everything you can at this point, and I think having the. Uh, repeated summary on the record is good again. Thank you. Uh, is number um, 15 aware of the issue? 15 is aware, yeah. Um, the other people. Not, <laughs> I, I believe we copied them on the okay. letter to 16, but um, yeah. We'd hate for them to be in the dark about this. Well, well, well maybe a shared cost. I don't, I don't know the, 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 the topography, yeah, but lateral, if yeah. the tank were to overflow, where is the is 51 may, uh, overbrook the lowest, or 16, or 15, or 16? It's pretty flat. Okay. Pretty flat um, between Buttonwood and Stonewall. Um, they have a pump, so I think they would have went by gravity if they could have. Um, but I'm not, I can't say that for sure, because um, it appears that um, the, the sewer main is much, much deeper than the lateral. So had they gone all the way down to the main, I don't know, but I'd have, I'd have to do the engineering on it, but maybe they would have enough pitch to, to get there by gravity. That would be um, something that they could, it's obviously very expensive, but it would save on electricity and these kinds of problems in the future, if that was possible. What's the length of the pipe that you think is probably bad? Where's the obstruction from the manhole to the repair is X number of feet? Um, Less than six feet. Oh, give me a break. Oh, my goodness. Really? Six feet? Really. You could hand dig that. Well, um, if, you, if you look at it this way, the, the, the sewer main is about mm -hmm. at the, the middle road. of the road. Oh. And we were on, in the north lane of Buttonwood where we excavated. We excavated from the edge of the road probably six feet. So it's probably another six feet to where the main is. And we believe it's a chimney connection. So. Um, is the problem in the chimney? Is the problem in the lateral? We can't be sure. But so it is a big deal. You got to dig up the road. You gotta yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah, and that's expensive. And, yeah. So yeah. Um, maybe I don't know this either, but um, maybe there's a, a good roto rooter plumber guy who could get in there. I can tell you, we took our our camera and tried to hand feed it in, and um, it was immediately covered with sludge and um, it didn't go very far because the uh, cross-sectional area was greatly reduced so we couldn't really get a good look at what was going on there 
Um, and you intentionally were operating delicately yeah. so that you didn't right. break any other. Hurt we were. We were. Um, when we stuck the rod in there, we were very careful not to slam through anything in case it was, you know, a thin wall that was ready to break or something. We were very careful. Um, okay. Everybody good with 9E? Yeah. Any yeah. other questions for the superintendent? I have some more stuff to report, if you don't mind. Go for yeah. it. Okay, thank you. 9F, which is an addition. On uh, 929, we had the uh, town of Darien experienced uh, 3.8 inches of rain. Um, fortunately, it was over uh, a long period of time, and uh, there were spikes, but it was pretty steady over the duration of the storm. Nevertheless, we did have a bypass, and it was located on the intersection of Old King's Highway North and Cedric. It was reported to the DEP um, as required. And have we done any? I think where that? Uh, it's right next to Seven uh, Cedric. Have we yeah. done any uh, follow-up investigations to see why that may have occurred? Oh, I know exactly. How not that I'm, I'm not aware of any. Okay. We may have, but um, I wasn't here last week. Yeah. So. Um, Understood. We may have done something. I, I assume you mean, um, did we check Mechanic Street? Um, yeah, because you know, we have found uh, grease in that line in the past that has restricted the cross sectional area. No, that's worth checking. Yeah. And um, has been a driver of those problems in the past. The, yeah, and they also found roots further down. Yeah, yeah. Okay. So I don't know if. We can go out and TV that line or divert these other guys. Well, we, yeah, that's we got some pros in town, and um, we, we can do it, or we can have some, the pros added on to, to the job that we're doing now. It seems like, you know, if they are not particularly common, our SSOs, and so I'd like to yeah. follow up. Well, that's an area of concern, too. Yes. yes. Um, it is. Did it pop that a manhole a and come out the manhole? Right. It did. The manhole, bubbles the manhole there. I've seen that happen. It, it popped out of the manhole. Um, not, it wasn't that bad. You know, 530 to 1030. There was nothing coming out of 1030. Um, as you would expect, the um, overflow continued after the storm stopped, right? So it's definitely related to whatever, uh, sump pumps, roof leaders, infiltration, inflow, whatever it was, so it's um, not direct, it lagged. It's not direct inflow since it's happening What's after that? the rain. It, it, it happened is, during the rain, but it continued after the rain it's stopped. It's a groundwater spike. Yeah. It's so, really the driver. So it could, it could be leaky pipes or a sump pump or a footing well, it's still an inflow. It's not infiltration. What I, I think it could be. Well, uh, yeah, it could, could be, be both. You're right. You're could right. be. If it's bad enough, it could be infiltration, I right? No, 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 no. So that's the that's my follow-up question. I'll yeah. probably just go Historical look at society. look at yeah. the Arcadis report when I think to. But uh, is there any is there anything upstream of that location that we're fixing in the next year with this phase two? Hey, hey Craig, yeah. did you have uh, Darren um, just lost so what the number was? Which manhole number was it? No, the, the gallons per... Oh, what were the number of gallons nice. that you estimated? 650. 650 gallons. Okay. Good for the record. Thank you, Ed. 650. Okay. On that one, I have one more to add. Yep. Item G, okay. which is an addition. Um, I know the commission has been keen on um, following up on 246 Neroten Avenue. And... Um, I don't have an answer, but I have a, a solution yet, but I have news. So um, a permit has been pulled. An inspection is scheduled for tomorrow. We have some preliminary findings from the plumber that spoke to Anthony Tacone of our office. Um, apparently, we assumed that when the porch was built, maybe that porch wall pushed down on the pipe. Now, the plumber is telling Anthony that it doesn't look like that's the case. It looks like the belly is actually, the dip in the pipe is actually under the porch, which means um, probably the material that they used to backfill inside the porch put weight on the pipe and caused a dip. 
Um, if that turns out to be the case, that presents us with another dilemma. Um, we're probably going to go back to um, a letter in the file type of an approach rather than tearing down the porch and digging up the entire thing. Or some other fix, maybe a directional drill, but I understand there's not much pitch, so we'll keep you informed, but there is activity and action finally on that topic. Thanks, sir. And that all started because they found a problem with their house, right? It's well, my understanding that they about the that um, cool. there was they, no. They, was, they didn't have a there. permit, so we right. made them. No, uh, I know. We made them camera, and I, we saw I, the belly. I know, but somebody who was the first one, the homeowner, was probably the first one that said, "Hey, we Houston, we have a problem," and that came I, in. And then no, I, no, I, it was when we camera, when we asked for it located yeah. in camera. Yeah. Yeah. What he said. Um, we didn't go look in the file and find no permit. Somehow somebody we, came in. So I, I don't recall how we found out about this, okay. but um, there was no permit. We um, directed them to pull a permit and do a TV. Then we found the problem. As far as I know, they've never had a backup, or we've never been aware of a backup. So uh, the sewer's functioning okay. all of these years, but um, nevertheless, we are aware of a problem, and that's what we're that's pursuing. Cool. But it, it all comes down to a betting issue on the Yeah, bottom, I know. Right. Which is an inspection, which is something which would be checked during inspection. So it's them, the, the people thinking that the inspector is their enemy, when in reality the inspector is their friend. But it's still being To make sure the things, contractor is doing Things happen wrong, you fix them. You know, this is something that needs to be fixed. They'll figure it out. Or we put a letter in the file so the future owner doesn't get sold and get something that's deficient yeah. Yeah. all right anything else under the superintendent's report that's it thank you okay any other questions for the superintendent before we move on i don't know 10 any new, new business to consider superintendent pro tempore <laughs> <laughs> peter well um Ooh, it's that time <laughs> make a motion we adjourn <laughs> i'll second all those in favor all right. all right. Thank you, Channel 79. We're done. Thank you.